everybody, welcome back to my channel. Please hit the like button if you like this video, it really does help a lot. Share this video with anybody who you know wants to go to LPN school and also subscribe and hit the notification bell so you won't ever miss a video from me. So this video is actually inspired by this young woman who left a comment under my step-by-step -step guide to 3 to 11 shift and she put, I'm not going to say her name because I don't know if she wants me to, but she said she has a question, she's in grade 12, aww. And she's currently looking into being an LPN, and the problem is that she didn't take any chemistry class courses during high school in order to apply for the LPN course. She said she needs chemistry courses before she applies, and um, uh, can she do the chemistry courses while going to school to be an LPN? She really doesn't want to take a year off after high school to do chemistry on its own, right? So, and then one person replied that she didn't, she doesn't really need to take any chemistry courses because um, she doesn't really need to take any chemistry courses because generally they don't have any prerequisites at all. And you know what? Thank you so much uh, to Hannah Faith. She's the one who answered her question. And I love that um, this community is growing. Like, we're all helping each other. It's not just me. So if you see anybody in the comments who has a question, and, like, if I haven't gotten to it yet, and, like, you somebody asks a question and you help them, like, that's awesome because there's not enough unity in nursing anyway. So if we can help each other as an online com community, I don't know about you, but, like, that helps me a lot. Honestly, there's already enough activity surrounded around the healthcare field in general, not just nursing um so if we can all help each other like that would be awesome even if it's just an online community so thank you so much hannah faith for doing that i just wanted to make this quick video um to give you some tips on how to get into lpn school if this is something that you really want to do you do not necessarily need any prerequisites to get in usually the only requirements that they do require to get into lpn school is that you have a high school diploma or ged equivalency right so um but i'm just going to give you some like basic um things that I did to get ready. So sometimes they have a test, sometimes it's the TEAS test, or sometimes it's just like a regular test that they want you to take to like measure your competency. So I actually found this old book that I had from like five, oh my gosh, <laughs> from five, wait, like from about like eight years ago, eight to nine years ago when I first applied to um, nursing school. When I first applied to my LPN program, and um, I bought this book, it's the National League for Nursing, it's Review Guide for LPN Pre-Entrance Exam, and um, it has, it has, it contains over a thousand practice questions, and includes new content for review of all exam areas, verbal, math, and science, and includes three practice exams. And um, I also did some questions, I believe, like online and stuff like that, because I really wanted to do, do good. Like, you don't have to specifically get this book, but this is just a book that um, I remember, like, taking, and I was really, like, sitting down and studying. Um, in order to get into the nur a nursing program, I would say, like, find out if you have, if they have a pre exam. And if there's a pre exam, make sure you get the proper book to um, prepare for that. A good tip on how to get the proper book to prepare for that is, I'm going to give you guys this website, and it's good, like, throughout everything whether you are about to go to nursing whether you're thinking about going to nursing whether you are nursing whether you're taking your um NCLEX no matter what part in your life this website is awesome and I've used it so many times it's called allnurses.com I find it very to be very reputable it's where um a website where all nurses come together and like they start different forums you could just do a quick google nerd google search like oh how do you get into LPN um what are some good um, pre entrance exam for you could write you could even type in the specific um, test and you could put all nurses and people will give you like their experience on the test and they will tell you like their study resources guides and like you could pull stuff from every person's opinion and like create your own study guide so I feel like allnurses.com will definitely be your help when wanting to go into an LPN exam um, an LPN program I'll use that that was a major resource of mine and like you get to connect with other nurses and people who are on the same journey with you people who are past you so that you know you can succeed in your journey 
So in order to get into my program, I actually had to go to an interview and I had to like explain like certain questions like oh, why do I want to go into this program, like what makes me susceptible. So in my opinion, like for the interview, make sure you use the STAR method. What was your action? What was the result of it? Um, you could just do a quick Google search on like what the STAR method is. It's so easy. Uh, make sure you come professional. Make sure you come well dressed, clean and neat with your nails short preferably in my opinion so that you, so that they, you show the person that like hey I'm ready to do the job because I'm really big on presentation I used to not be but um, I realized that if you are going for a job interview and like no matter what you're going for like make sure that you look like you can do the part so make sure you come with your nails short you know maybe with your hair pulled back um, if your hair is down okay but you know make sure you look the part make sure you look neat and presentable make sure you have your make sure you practice your interview so that you can get in because you never know like how competitive the program can be right have confidence in yourself like believe in yourself believe that you can you know be a nurse um also if you have a good story of how you were a caregiver during the interview that is major plus um another thing i did before i even like apply to a nursing program is um i did a lot of like clerk aid work um through my uh i did a lot of clerk aid work so i worked in hospitals for a lot of times and i just basically worked in the office and I worked in different units like case management, I worked in the neonatal unit, and I just did simple like clerical work, like organizing patients' charts, doing those kind of things. It was so simple, so easy, but I think it was very helpful in them believing in me that I really wanted to do it because I had experience in the healthcare field. So like even though it was in a hospital, not a nursing home, it still showed that I was very serious about it. I spent years working in healthcare facilities, so I think that was basically a plus on my side. So I would say if you have that opportunity, if you are a CNA, or if you're a high school student, I know sometimes, I know here in New York they have summer youth employment programs, choose the healthcare um, section so that they send you to a hospital, like that is a great um, idea, or volunteer, so that people see that you are actually serious about becoming a healthcare provider. These are my advice on how to get into a nursing program. I know you guys can do it. And don't forget to leave me any questions if you have any more specific questions. And everybody, let's help each other down on the comments. Like, let's not just, you know, leave anybody alone left out. Okay? Bye!